So the patient was referred to us specifically seeking LAPIP therapy. Uh, the patient was an engineer of all things, so very detail oriented, knew exactly what he wanted and had already done the, the research about the laser. So he looked us up to seek out LAPIP therapy. The patient presented with localized gingival inflammation and exudate on probing and some tenderness on probing as well. Uh, and radiographic bone loss around that area about halfway down the implant. The implant was placed four to five years ago and the patient didn't want to lose the implant or go through another surgery to have the implant removed, grafted, and then have a new implant placed. So the patient really wanted to keep his implant, so we opted for LAPIP versus explantation. The patient also presented with a thin gingival biotype on the lower right quadrant and localized gingival recession. So in addition to treating the case, the implant with LAPIP, we also did connective tissue grafting on the lower right quadrant from 28 to 31, increasing the gingival thickness and creating a more ideal environment for LAPIP therapy to have bone regeneration. The patient was followed up at two weeks, four weeks, and then at six months. And following the LAPIP procedure, heavy occlusal adjustment was completed on all the teeth in the lower right quadrant, uh, specifically around that implant. The implant was a cement retained restoration, so we opted to keep the implant in place during LAPIP therapy. And as you'll see in the radiographs, we have increased radiopacity around that implant and decreased gingival inflammation. And we also got some tissue shrinkage around that area. So the tissue is tightening up and just presented as healthy, firm coral pink tissue around the implant and including the other tissue in the lower right quadrant. When the patient first presented to the office, I would have gave that implant a questionable long-term prognosis. Um, prognosis is a dynamic process that continually moves as treatment is completed and as we continue to monitor the patient throughout the healing process. Uh, at this point, we have remarkable uh, bony regeneration around that implant and the prognosis has improved from questionable to good long-term prognosis. As we continue to monitor the healing, we should see more increased bony regeneration over the next four to six months.